playing hard to get should be considered not just a mind game, but a very gentle push and pull of behavior that will bring some extra excitement that both partners will enjoy. So it's, well, easy for it to backfire sometimes, especially if one person plays super hard to get, leaving the other person thinking, oh, okay, so you're not interested. And of course, you don't wanna do that. So here are the ways to effectively play hard to get without playing huge mind games. My name is Anna and welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Always have your me time. Giving the other person space is very healthy and at the start of a relationship, two people admit it. We become pretty obsessed with each other. Now they will want to spend all of their time together and it may sound cute, but it's actually very unhealthy. And in these early stages of a relationship is when the space is needed the most. So remember that you are not one person when you are in a relationship, you are two people and you will get bored quickly and you will not grow together if you're always with each other. So you aren't playing a game where you refuse to see them in the week. Instead, you make sure that your time is filled up with self-care activities, things that stimulate your brain, emotions, your physical self, and you don't compromise on them. Now, eventually you will learn that this time apart makes that bond grow stronger and makes seeing each other just so much more meaningful. Don't answer the phone if you are busy. Our phones, they are at our sides constantly. I have two both sides of me right now. But that doesn't mean that you need to prioritize your crush over whatever you were doing previously. You are not obliged to reply to a message within 10 minutes or even obliged to immediately answer a call. If you are busy cooking food and your crush calls, well, food is important, so don't answer. Wait until you have finished cooking. This may sound like like you are being a little bit cold and distant, but however, you are training yourself to not stop what you are doing just to please others. And two, you are making sure you stay on task and don't burn your food. And three, you are giving them full undivided attention when you do call them back because no one wants to be on the phone listening to you curse over your poached eggs. Disagree on plans if you don't like them. Just because they suggested what you should do and when doesn't mean you are automatically okay to accept the invitation. If the idea of a mini golf date sounds boring, speak up and say. Remember playing hard to get is about making someone excited to connect with you. So if you put up a gentle challenge or something to enjoy on the next date, this is well good enough. Don't give too much away about your plans. You want to make them wonder about you. So if they ask what you were doing in the day and you reply with, well, I'm driving to see an old friend, this is just the sweet spot. It's enough for them to know that you are doing something, but the vague, but the vague information leaves them wondering, which creates mystery and attraction, which is plain hard to get. Figure out their boundaries. Every couple that uses the hard to get method will vary greatly. Some people may become offended if you don't get a text back in a day and some won't be as phased. You need to figure out how to play hard to get without hurting their feelings and making them feel unloved, of course. So it should only be a small tease of them missing you, not actually really chronically missing you. Sometimes just taking a few hours to reply to a text message is enough. You shouldn't be blocking any access of someone getting in touch with you, remember that. Switch it up. Instead of your partner thinking this is just how you are in a relationship, you need to have moments where you don't actually play hard to get. So focus on their needs, make them feel special, but then every now and then you pull away, focus on you and your me time, and then they will wonder about you and get excited to see you again focus on taking things slow. Yes, I know, I know, you want to rush in and know everything about each other. However, this means that the fire burns out too quick. Instead, you need to act a lot slower, get to know each other and don't rush the process and keep some mystery about yourself because this will keep the excitement everlasting. Don't get physical too quickly. You really need to fight that urge to not give up the goods, so to say, too soon. Obviously, don't wait so long that the other person becomes disinterested and thinks that something is wrong with them, but don't rush into it. It shouldn't become a routine act. And when you rush the physical things too early on, it gets pretty mundane quickly. Make them work for you. 
A successful, long-lasting relationship works when two people are putting in the effort to give the other person full undivided attention. You need to feel wanted and appreciated, so whenever you notice they aren't chasing you, slowly pull away. Don't play a game and refuse to answer their calls or cancel dates, but make yourself busy with things that you enjoy in your life. Remain playful. As soon as hard to get feels like you are playing a game, then the other person will become very disinterested. The idea is to make that other person want more of you and your time, not that they need to really work to keep the relationship alive. So send some teasing texts and be flirty. You can send them a cute selfie wearing your date outfit that leaves them wanting more and getting excited and impatient to wait until date night to see you. And wow, we made it to the end of the video. If you like this video, give us a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It will make my day. And you can even go one step further and get your name up on our super fan board. These are some amazing people that actually support the channel every single month. And if you want to know more about that, then click the description box below to find out some more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.